guys, this is PMR Bones 88. And today I'm going to be showing you guys my movie collection. This is not my home movie collection. I got tons of them. They're all over the place in my room. So eventually I'm going to be showing just only some movies. I'm not going to show you the whole whole collection of my movie. It'll be split into two parts of my video. So the first part will be coming in this week before I leave to Pennsylvania. Yeah, guys, I'm going on vacation for with my family. So I won't be back until next Tuesday. Next Tuesday because I'll be um, reviewing and editing of uh, Jaws. For those of you who aren't following me on Facebook or Twitter, the link in the descriptions are down below. You can check me out there. And yes, I'm sitting on the floor, so don't mind me, guys. Oh, and these are my Xbox One games. Well what I have so far. So let's get started on my movie collections. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, which I reviewed then during the movie reviews, Batman Batman Returns, sorry the light is, if those of you cannot see, there we go. <laughs> So both Tim Burton's Batman and Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman Robin. <sighs> Batman Forever was okay, like I said. Like I said in my review, it was just an okay Batman movie, but not really as great than the other Batman films. And Batman Robin, pff, that just went pff, downhill. Boo. I do own this on Blu-ray, and I had the VHS one, but luckily I don't have it on DVD, so thank God for that. Whole Spider-Man trilogies, the Sam Raimi versions, the first Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man 2, that's like definitely my most favorite. I love the Spider-Man 2.1 because it was actually better and had more extra scenes and more battle scenes too with uh, between Spidey and Doc Ock. And we have his... Spider-Man 3, very disappointed and I wasn't really too thrilled of the new black suit and playing with Topher Grace playing as Venom. And we had the Mark Webb's The Amazing Spider-Man. I actually got used to this new costume but the eye lenses were kind of too small and they were, they were very almost cat-like-ish. And what we have is The Amazing Spider-Man 2 on Blu-ray and DVD. This is like a steel book. I love the details about it and including with between of the pictures of uh, Spider-Man and Electro. And I still want to get this kind of costume. It looks badass. Oh and just a uh, reference and letting you all know that uh, some of my movies are still at my friend's house because we were starting to watch some good movies there and I let them at I left it at her house, so I'll probably have to get it back, or we'll be watching them soon. Maybe she wants to watch some of them, or some that she's not really interested. And we have right now are all the X-Men films, 2000s X-Men, especially the beginning, and with Wolverine kicking ass, that was certainly great. X2, X-Men United, and X-Men The Last Stand, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't too wasn't too bad. It was a good X-Men film, but most people didn't really like this film because uh, the storyline was not too thrill and some of the characters were getting killed off, so that was another problem. X-Men Origins Wolverine, which nobody liked. I can only watch it only once in a blue moon. The Wolverine. There's like two different ratings of this film. Uh, one, the um, rated version and the other is the theatrical but I'm sticking to the unrated film because it felt like it was a rated R film so this was better. I have his um, X-Men Days of Future Past. These are all my Star Trek movies from 1 through 6 the ones with uh, William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy. I'm saying I just when I first saw Star Trek I saw it was the part 6 the undiscovered, undiscovered country but the first time I saw Star Trek was the next generation. But this was the classic Star Trek movie. The only thing I didn't really like about it was 
the first movie because due to the visual the effects were kind of dull and the uniforms were like they were wearing pajamas so I had no idea what kind of direction they were taking but Star Trek 2 through 6 were better part 5 was eh, okay but once again the effects were too dull and they were not really standing well so it's really my favorites are Star Trek 2, 3, 4, and 6. That's it. <laughs> 1 and 5 were just, hmm, eh. My Jurassic Park collections, these are only 1 through 3. I don't have Jurassic World, not just yet, so I gotta get that too. All my Friday the 13th film from one part one through the remake. I really love this detail, the steel book. I definitely love the the art and it looks so 3D and especially the title. And we have this in the background is uh, Camp Crystal Lake. And it has a uh, 3D, has some 3D glasses. Oh, and the Camp Crystal Lake uh, patch. Yeah, so these are like all the Friday 13 movies that I have on. Blu-ray and most of them I got them on DVD. People have been asking me how many Friday the 13th are there? There were 12 Friday the 13th films. And those of you who don't know how many Friday the 13th there are, there were 12. All my uh, Nightmare on Elm Street films from 1 through New Nightmare. I just don't know why they didn't include Freddy vs. Jason because it didn't really make sense. I didn't understand how come they couldn't just include Freddy vs. Jason in the Nightmares. Nightmare Collections. All my uh, Chucky films from Charles Play to The Curse of Chucky. I'm really loving this um, artwork of how they put Chucky in it. This is probably the picture of uh, in Curse of Chucky. I've seen most of them on Blu-ray and I still gotta start watching like uh, Curse of Chucky again. I only watched it once on DVD and then I reviewed it. But then after I got finished up the Chucky series and including the Nightmare series too. So I'll be making more schedules of my upcoming movie reviews soon. It's just gonna, it's just right now I'm working on the process of my other job and I'm starting to work on with YouTube. And I will be um, going to Comic Con soon so everything's a little jumble. I gotta get one place and another, take it one step at a time. The Giver, the director's cut. Not really too thrilled. There was nothing different. There was no extra scenes or no alternating scenes on the Giver. But I reviewed this and this one looks okay. But I wasn't really too thrilled. But I had the second one, but except uh, I downloaded it on iTunes. So sorry, folks. I don't have the second one on DVD yet. Oh, and I have the 1966 uh, Batman movie with uh, Adam West. And uh, including the. The Darkman trilogy. Darkman was definitely my first favorite movie. The rest of the sequels, they were okay. Oh, these are all my series, so those will be later in time. So I'll be doing um, TV collection uh, next year. Jaws, <laughs> this is the classic. Unlike the other sequels, uh, Jaws 2 was okay. I downloaded that on iTunes once again. The rest of the sequels were, eh. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Men in Black my favorite. Men in Black 2, also my favorite. And Men in Black 3, good movie but not as better than the first two. Both Kick-Ass 1 and 2. I think Kick-Ass was my favorite because it had more action and Kick-Ass was finally kicking ass. And the first Kick-Ass was just only in the beginning but it had a good story. It had a good story plot of it and how Kick-Ass became Kick-Ass. But Kick-Ass 2, the storyline felt rushed and Skipped a few important scenes. Ant-Man, that was awesome, my favorite. All my Leprechaun collections, I have only is Leprechaun 1 through The Origin. I saw The Origin on Netflix and that disappointed me and the rest of the sequels were kind of hilarious and what was stupid was Leprechaun in Space. I hated that. I only saw Leprechaun 1 through 4 on Blu-ray. I gotta finish up watching it, especially with um, Leprechaun in the Hood and Back to the Hood. All three of my Pokemon movies, all I liked were the first three. The rest of the other Pokemon movies, they were just uh, saying too much. This I seek to as the trilogy. The first movie, 
2000 and part 3. And here are my, um, the Damien trilogy, that's what I call them. The Son of Batman, Batman vs. Robin, and Batman Bad Blood. I didn't get Justice League vs. Teen Titans yet, but I will get it soon. All my <laughs> Superman collections, 1 through 2006, or I'll just call it the Christopher Reeve quadrilogy and the one with Brandon Roth. Christopher Reeve was the best and classic that plays Superman of all these years. Part 3 and 4 were starting to become ridiculous and very kiddish. And with Brandon Roth and Superman Returns, it wasn't too bad, but the storyline kind of put me to sleep and he didn't really amuse me. But when he played um, Adam in the Arrow series, that he did was better. Oh, here's my uh, other copy of Superman 2, the Richard Donner Cut film. The Man of Steel. Not too bad, but the storyline felt very rushed. And I wish they couldn't have taken their time or they couldn't have done a director's cut. Iron Man. Iron Man 2. Iron Man 3. The Incredible Hulk. My favorite. Thor? Okay. I don't really read comic comics of Thor, but the movie itself, Thor, wasn't too bad, so it was okay. Thor Dark World, that was a great great sequel. Better than the first film. Captain America, the first Avenger. Captain America Winter Soldier. That one was my favorite. But Civil War was also my favorite too, so I cannot wait till it comes on Blu-ray and DVD. Marvel's The Avengers. <laughs> that was a great movie. I have Age of Ultron. It's just, you know, at my friend's house. The Star Wars Saga. Both the prequel and the sequel. The only one that was my favorite in the prequel was Revenge of the Sith. The rest of the two were okay. I mean, first one was kind of hilarious due to Jar Jar Binks, and the second film has so much CGI, CGI green and blue screen. But the only thing that was really my favorite was the lightsaber and all the Jedi's fighting off the droids. That was cool. And I have his Justice League War and Star Wars: The Force Awakens, 2003 Hulk. The 2003 Hulk, uh, he, one, they made him too big, and two, they put him too much green. But it's a good movie to watch. Just for once, like I said, once in a blue moon. Fantastic Four 2005 and Rise of Silver Surfer. First Fantastic Four was my favorite. The remake of 2000, the 2015 Fantastic Four was... I don't know what direction they were taking, but it was bad. Really bad. Ghost Rider, the Stendica, and the Spirit of Vengeance. Spirit of Vengeance was very dark, and the Ghost Rider was really scary. But the extended version of Ghost Rider was okay, but the, the theatrical version looked kind of dull. Before he became Deadpool. The Bachelor Party with Tom Hanks, <laughs> Cyrus. Yeah, I watched a couple of comedy and drama movies, but... Don't mind me. Role models. <laughs> E.T. Phone Home. <laughs> Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. First film was great. Second film was... Uh, I think they were on drugs or something. Jackie Chan movies. Commando. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. <laughs> I thought it was Part 2 at first, but when I looked at the cover, it was definitely Part 1. Part 2. Mel Brooks' Young Frankenstein. This is a classic. Especially with Gene Wilder when he says, My grandfather's work was doo doo! <laughs> the Clockwork Orange, the classic Tron, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, Dark Man on Blu ray, Tron Legacy. Okay, but worth watching. Hotel Transylvania, I gotta get the second one. I love anime movies, especially like kid anime movies like this one. Edward Scissorhand. Watchmen Director's Cut. Now I reviewed this film. Uh, eventually, 
when I saw the director's cut, it looked like it was trying to extend more of the story, explain of the characters, but kind of like felt it was dragging. Dick Tracy? A good Christmas film? Scrooge. I could watch this anytime. Doesn't matter if I could watch it during the summertime or in the fall or on Thanksgiving or Halloween. This feels like it's almost a Christmas and Halloween movie together and Thanksgiving. So it's all three different holidays into one movie. The International Man of Mystery, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and Go Member. And here are all my Terminator films, which are... Put this in order. 1984 classic, The Terminator. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, awesome film. Terminator 3 Rise of the Machine, okay, but the action wasn't too bad. And Terminator Salvation. <sighs> I don't know what to say about this film. Not really, the, not really its best. I still gotta get Genocide, so there's a lot of films I need to get them on Blu-ray and DVD, or probably, probably install them on iTunes. I'm thinking about it. The Santa Claus Trilogy, all three of them. I, I could watch them only on Christmas. Those, this is the only movie that I could watch it during Christmas or in December. Santa Claus 1 and 2 were... Santa Claus Part 1 was definitely my favorite childhood film. Part 2 was okay. But I could watch it during Thanksgiving, like in November or something. And Santa Claus 3, same, same like in Part 2. I could watch this at any time. Gremlins 2 on DVD. Cop Out. G.I. Joe uh, Rise of Cobra. The Hangover Part 2. I don't know if I have G.I. Joe Retaliation. It's gotta be somewhere. Somewhere in my stash, so it's not in, a in ABC order. So don't mind me if it's all mixed. Oh yeah, Star Trek The Undiscovered Country, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Star Trek First Contact, Hot Tub Time Machine, and Beverly Hills Cop. I have part two somewhere, like I said, Little Shop of Horror, the director's cut. I actually have both the regular cut and the director's cut. There are two different endings. That, uh, the first ending, the original, is where is where Seymour uh, destroys Andre 2, kills the actual plant. But then in the director's cut ending, the plant wins and all hell breaks loose. So all of the plants are just taking over the world. So, minor spoiler alert. 21 Jump Street. The Inception. Year One, The Simpsons Movie, and the first Gremlin Movie. And these are all my original horror collections. They only take place in the 19... Ugh, sorry. In the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s, and 70s. Probably that's about it, but most likely in the 30s. Taxi Driver, great film. American Wedding. Ghostbusters Part 1 and 2. The upcoming film of uh, the remake Ghostbusters that will be coming this month. Eventually there have been a lot of dislike throughout the worldwide and many people are going to be very disappointed because of maybe because of lack of story, the selecting cast members, or maybe due to the CGI ghosts. I don't know. I'm still going to watch it though. I'll watch it and see if if I like it or not. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? Twister, with, uh, Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. Both Home Alones 1 and 2. These are the only Home Alone movies I'd rather have as my childhood memories. I don't care about Home Alone 3, I don't care about Home Alone 4 or 5, 6, whatever how many Home Alone films. That's just like enough, okay? Enough is enough. 
stick with part one and two. Young Frankenstein on Blu-ray. I love the cover art. And Return of the Living Dead. This one's my favorite. Part two was hilarious, but it was kind of ridiculous. Alien, I reviewed this film already. Aliens, I'm going to be reviewing this soon, so during this month, right after I come back from Pennsylvania. Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. Both Alien 3 and Resurrection had both the, uh, the director's cut. In the alternate ending in Part 3, they have only Ripley just falling down into the pit of lava or fire. But in the theatrical ending is where the alien just burst out of her chest right before she was going to commit suicide. And Resurrection was okay, but wasn't really too thrilled about it. I just loved the aliens killing all the soldiers. That was my only favorite. And that new hybrid kind of alien was ugh, too dull and too gross. The Fifth Element, my favorite sci-fi movie. They even started with uh, Bruce Willis, Gary Oldman, and Million Djokovic. I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce your last name. Oh, and with Chris Tucker. He's so hilarious. He's so hilarious. The 1994 classic The Crow with Brandon Lee. May it rest in peace. And we have his The Crow, City of Angels, and Wicked Prayer. I love Wicked Prayer because of... Uh, Edward McFarlane, Tyra Reed, and David Boreanaz. I will always know David Boreanaz as Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the spin-off series of Angel. Friday 13th Killer's Cut. I got the collection, but this was before I got the whole Friday 13th series collection. And uh, Prometheus. Good film. I'm still waiting for a sequel for this film. I don't know what's taking them so long. Honestly, <laughs> the Monster Squad, great childhood film, awesome, love it. Van Helsing, The Exorcist, I always love to torment my mom watching this film. The original 1990 classic with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Total Recall. Neighbors, funny movie, I can't wait for the second film when it comes on Blu-ray and DVD. The Hollow Man, Big Hero 6, Ride Along, Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Part 2, and the The Mummy Trilogy 1 through 3. The first, first two are just my favorites because it has Arnold Vassal playing as the mummy. And the third film was okay, it just had Jet Li. It, it felt like it was a, a Jet Li movie, not a mummy movie. Horns, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Lucy. All, all the Saw movies. Batman, Assault and Arkham. Guardians of the Galaxy. And the remake, Total Recall. I'm not going to show you all my whole movies on Blu-ray and DVD, so this will be just uh, to be continued. But I will be doing another movie collection right before the summer ends. So when I come back from vacation, I will be reviewing the 1975 horror classic, Jaws. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off as saying is, Peace!